Ready to win big in sports betting? There's three things you need to know. Positive expected value, sports betting models, and closing line value. I'm going to break down how these all work together in this video. Stay tuned if you want to bet like a pro. Hey sports bettors, I'm MB, founder of underdogchance.com, and this is my AI avatar, your betting expert today. So, what is the relationship between positive expected value, sports betting models, and closing line value? Let's delve into this topic. It is widely known among sports bettors that only positive expected value bets are likely to yield profit over time. For those unfamiliar with this concept, here's a simplified explanation. Imagine two teams with an equal 50% chance of winning, a scenario we'll assume is accurately estimated. If you're offered odds of plus 120 for one team and minus 110 for the other, the wise choice is the plus 120 bet. Why? Because consistently betting on a team with plus 120 odds, when they have a 50% chance of winning, will lead to profitability in the long run. Conversely, betting on minus 110 odds under the same conditions will result in losses. Now, determining the exact probability of a team winning a game is not straightforward. However, studies have shown that the closing line odds at major bookmakers, like Pinnacle, are a reliable indicator of the most accurate probabilities. For example, if the closing line is minus 105 versus minus 105, it suggests a 50% versus 50% probability once the bookmaker's commission, VIG, is removed. This probability reflects all the available information on the game, including the betting money involved. The challenge is that betting at the closing line is often too late. Since the closing lines are the most precise, the bookmaker's VIG will diminish any potential value. Therefore, it's crucial to place bets before the line closes, seeking better odds. For instance, betting on a team at plus 110 early, when the line eventually moves to minus 105, represents a positive expected value bet. Identifying these positive expected value bets is the tricky part. While some handicappers or services use Pinnacle's lines as a benchmark and look for softer odds at other bookies, this approach has its drawbacks, particularly when dealing with less reputable bookmakers, their limits and bans. This is where sports betting models come into play. A good betting model calculates probabilities earlier, allowing you to place bets before the odds shift. While no model is perfect, indeed, all models are inherently flawed to some degree. A robust model is essential for identifying worthwhile bets. These models are invaluable tools for serious bettors, aiming to make a profit or become winning bettors. They enable you to analyze games effectively and track the closing line value to assess the efficacy of your methods. Continuously refining and adjusting your model is key to improving your betting strategy. Without such models, most serious bettors I know would still be without any success in betting. So, for those serious about making money or becoming winning bettors, embracing sports betting models isn't just a choice, it's a necessity. Dive into this world, tweak and adjust your strategies, and watch as your betting transforms from a game of luck to a game of skill and insight. Remember, in the world of sports betting, knowledge is not just power, it's profit. If you're unsure about how to create or use betting models, head over to underdogchance.com. I've assisted hundreds of bettors in starting their journey with their own betting models. Don't spend time trying to figure it out on your own. Visit us and start your path to smarter betting today. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to helping you succeed in the world of sports betting.